Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Blaster. The channel is the Truth Channel. We deal with the truth on all subjects. And on this broadcast, I want to touch a little more on, on securing our kids. Because as you know, if you live in the Midwest, let me just show you real quickly. This is our ignition, right? See that? So make sure you get a good look of it. Uh, Star wheel. That's the ignition. I hope I showed you. But if you got a kid, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the key ignition, they have figured out, and it's a video. And if you see any videos, I would tell you to in intentionally look for videos talking about stealing kids and how easy it is and flag them off of YouTube. Flag them off of YouTube. And, and if they're kids, so what? So what? They need to go to jail. If they're stealing cars... They need to go to jail. And remember, I'm the truth blaster. I'm going to give you the truth on everything. And the truth is, I don't care if you're 10 years old. If you result to stealing, you get caught, you need to, you need to be off the streets. Because in times such as these, it is not, it's not easy out here for anyone that's not rich. So if you're out here stealing, let me just put my seatbelt on. I know the camera's all over the place. So if you're out here stealing, I have no pity for you. The only way you're going to learn, because people don't read Bibles. People don't do that no more. People don't fear God no more. So the way you're going to learn is to go to jail. And if they let you out and you do the same thing, then it's time for you to, the, your consequences should get greater and greater and greater and greater. I don't care if you had a trouble upbringing. Did your brain work? Do you know that it's wrong to steal? Then you should be in jail. Because each time our vehicles are stolen, just for them to jo joyride, have sex with girls in cars, they literally be having sex in our cars, just in case y'all don't know that. So, we're going to talk about some more things that we can do to make our vehicles secure, to make our houses, everything else secure. And we'll call this top five things we need to secure. Number one. If you have a Kia and a Hyundai, again, get the brake club. The club that goes on the brake pedal. And I will tell you, if you got enough money, put one across your steering wheel too. Make it hard for them. If you got even more money than that, if you got to park on the street, take some, take something and cover up your back windows with it. And then that way, at least you're going to make it harder for them to bother your car. Like, and some of them, they'll say it's not worth it. Let's go. Because they fake thugs. A lot of them, they don't want to go to jail. They just want to joyride, have sex with girls in your car, and do God knows what else. They don't want to go to jail. So we have to make it harder for them. You can get a chain with a lock and put it across your ignition and then take the brake club and put it underneath. But you have to figure out a way too to cover up your back windows because if they break the back windows, the panic button won't go off, the panic alarm, it won't go off. So just like that clown was showing them how to do it, I'm gonna show us how to secure. Could cover up your back windows. Like if you're in a driveway 
and your, let's say, your driveway's open. You don't have a fence. If you can afford a fence, get a fence with a lock on it. Don't be nice. Who cares what your neighbors say? Because your neighbors probably watch them do it the whole time. So who cares if they have a problem with you having a big fence? And get a security system in your house because remember, we talked about this. They like rats. Eventually a rat, if he, if he stays alive in your yard long enough, he's going to try to figure out a way to get in your house. Get off this little, all this little propaganda that's going on. And secure your belongings. And if you see somebody stealing somebody's car by your house, call the police. Stop adhering to street codes that don't benefit you. If you got $500 every time they steal your car every week, you got $1,000 if your deductible is $1,000, okay then. If you, if you don't want to spend that money, then you do what I'm telling you to do. Get you an alarm that's loud, that's going to wake everybody up. And tell them to make sure that any, any activity on the back windows, the alarm will go off. Get these kids, man. If they want to steal, make it hard for them. Stop. Oh, they're just kids. Oh, they're just kids. Are you going to say that if they got a gun down your throat? Are you going to say that if they be, oh, man, his daughter, bad. I'm finna do this and that. And try to rape your daughter in front of you? Oops, I said rape. Oh, well. Are you going to be saying that stuff then? Secure your stuff. 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 And as far as your house, all your windows on lower level, your alarm should be connected to those windows. It should be connected to the windows. If you can, get a steel door and have cameras all over the freaking place. Ain't no love. We ain't gonna hate kids, but ain't no love for no thief. Thieves belong in cages. Oh, I'm, oh, 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 I'm, just, I'm just trying to take care of my family. Okay, are you dumb? Are you a wimp? Are you a little weak chump? Trying to watch the words I say. If you're not none of these things, then why can't you work like a man? If you 16, you're supposed to be going towards manhood. Oh, they, oh, they won't give me a job. I, I, I can't deal with them no more. I just can't deal with the excuses no more. I can't deal with the glorifying sinful behavior. No more. I can't deal with the, ah, man. I, he said this. And for those of you who don't know, I worked in correction. I have 13 years experience. I can't deal with it no more. I can't deal with people worried about what I say more than worried about what these dudes are saying and what they doing. I got to separate myself. He said this. He said that. Did you say this? Did you say that? I, I can't deal, do it no more. It, and, and, it, and it don't even pay enough to do it. The brown nosing that I see on a regular basis, the favoritism, the backstabbing, the gossiping that I see on a regular, the snake behavior, it is not worth it. I'm going to become the advocate for safety and for securing your stuff. And I'm telling you, you see somebody stealing cars in your block, on your neck, call the police. Don't worry about these dudes. These dudes ain't nothing. Or, or take your phone and record them. Record them doing it. They, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. You just make sure you're right with God. Don't worry about them, though. They, don't worry about them. They're not, they not what you think they are. You ever seen the Wizard of Oz, the lion? Remember Dorothy slapped him in the nose and he started crying and he changed and he became what he really was? 
Y'all got to start slapping these dudes in the nose. You letting them just take your stuff. You know it's the neighborhood breaking in your house and you won't say nothing. You should be like, uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to accuse, but can you have fingerprints ran on my next door neighbor's kid? You know it's him doing it. But you are too nice and neat. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, it's so great and lovely. Listen, man, I'm going to close this video out. We're going to keep talking about this, too. As long as y'all watching, I'm going to keep talking. Alarms, cover your back windows with something if you can. Uh, um, we're going to talk about some of the traps that I believe you could set to make these guys twist their ankles or something. Don't just let them just do it so easy, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Share this on your Facebook. Share this on your Instagram. Share this with everybody you know that has a Kia. Especially the Soul, the Optima, and the Sorrento. Share this video. And share my last video on the Kia. Make it hard for them. Thanks for watching.